What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about AT&T and their 5G speeds. Now, if you remember, we did a story a few weeks ago talking about AT&T hitting speeds of one gigabit per second. Well, they've doubled that speed now and they're at two gigabits per second in Atlanta they did this and they theoretically said that you could download an HD two hour movie in 10 seconds. That's extremely fast. Amazing speeds for AT&T, but you also have to remember when AT&T does release their 5G nationwide and it's, you know, maybe a couple of years down the road, there's going to be tiered pricing. So you might not even be paying for the best pricing available because it's going to be way too expensive. But regardless, amazing speeds thus far with AT&T 5G. And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Pro. There's going to be a non-pro version and a pro version. The non-pro version will be 6.28 inches in display. Uh, it'll come in 4G and 5G and then there also will be a pro version that comes in a 4G and a 5G version. But we're going to talk about the 4G version of the Note 10 Pro. Hopefully you didn't get lost in that shuffle, but we're talking about the battery size. And this is a tweet that comes from Ice Universe that says N975, which is the model number for the Note 10 Pro 4G. He says 4,500 milliamp battery, which is gonna be equal to the size of the battery of the Galaxy S10 5G that will be out in May. And then also you're looking at 25 watt charging. Right now, currently 15 watt fast charging is the fastest uh, with the Samsung phone. 25 watt will also be available in the S10 5G. And as you can see, it'll also be available in the Note 10 Pro. Now it's nice to see these incremental increases in battery with the Galaxy line of phones. We're up to now 4,500 milliamps on the Note 10 Pro and the S10 5G. Whereas on the phone I have, which is the S10 uh, Plus, getting 4,100 milliamps. So they're adding more and more battery life to these phones and I know some of their mid-tier phones have 5,000 milliamps. There's really no reason they couldn't add a 5,000 milliamp battery probably. Probably just want to save it for the future versions of this phone. So better and better battery life, which is a big thing. Obviously you want your phone to last as long as it can. And also with 5G, you're going to need a lot of battery because it's going to work even harder than LTE does. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, how are you feeling about this battery size and 25 watt fast charging with the Note 10 Pro? Is it getting you a little more excited for this phone? Or do you need to see more details on the phone? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.